always this weird feeling that I'm being watched. What the heck is it? Oh, <laughs> that's what it is. It's you. How you doing? This is Taz with Taz with Philly. Um, this is a reaction that I'm about to do, and this is due actually to a contest winner. Every Tuesday, we have a contest under our community tab. The winner gets the song and artist that they have chosen to be reacted to. And this is the moment. So first of all, I'd like to congratulate the winner who won the contest. And this goes out to the awesome Shieldsy. Congratulations, Shieldsy. Um, <laughs> tongue twister there. So you had requested a song by a group called Ghost Hounds. Never heard of them before in my life, which I like that. Because we'd love it more so if it's somebody that we've never heard of before. So then we get to experience them for the very first time in its rawest form while it's being recorded. Um, and the song you requested is Last Train to Nowhere. And you wanted the live version. And it says at the Maple House Studios. So, And thank you for providing the link. So appreciate that. I bought up Ghost Hounds because I wanted to know just a little bit of something about them. So it says Ghost Hounds are a rock and blues band hailing from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which I'm like, wow, okay, that's not that far. Well, it is kind of far, but not that far from where I reside. So that's pretty cool. Their style of blues inspired rock proves the genre is not only alive, but thriving for the next generation of rock fans. Having performed for fans worldwide, Ghost Hounds are putting blues rock back on the map. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and that's all I know, because we don't like to know too much. We like to be a surprise as much as possible. So so that's pretty, pretty cool. So uh, make sure that you support the artists. We always represent music appreciation. So um, the links for their YouTube channel will be in the descriptions. If you can go and subscribe to them and like and comment. If you like them that much, even go and uh, purchase their music. Um, but in any event, let's uh, get on into this song, and I'll commentate more afterwards. So here we go.
<laughs> okay, rock and blues, rock and blues, bringing it back on the map. We'll bring it back on that map. Put it all around the world. I love that. That was a great vibe. Um, I can't think of off the top of my head who that guy's voice reminds me of. It's another guy who has a soulful voice. I can't forget. I mean, I can't remember. Um, it's someone else that we've reacted to in here. But it's hard to remember. We have over like a thousand reaction videos. Check it out. <laughs> uh, is it Aaron Lewis? That name sounds familiar. Maybe that's it. I might be saying it wrong. I think it's Aaron Lewis. Aaron someone. Forgive me. Real and authentic people. But anyway, back to so Ghost Town. I'm curious to know the name because let us know if you know in the comments like how they came up with the name Ghost Town. I mean, it's unique. It's cool. It's like it made me wonder before I even heard the song i just like to know what how people get names sometimes um of their groups or whatever like is there a significance to it um so in any event he has a great soulful rocky funky voice beautiful and then the band had that bluesy sound and that so i'm, I'm really big on when you have a band how they all sound cohesively and they just sounded great cohesively like that i re i say this many times but to me it makes a great visualization of what i'm talking about is like a jigsaw puzzle you can have a jigsaw puzzle that's going to be beautiful once it's completed if you have pieces missing it's not completed and you don't see the full beauty of it but when you have them all connected and stuff like that you see the final product and that's then they all sounded connected and cohesive together is really really cool um who's that guitarist like what's his name he looks familiar and it's funny because like since it said that they're from pittsburgh pa which is not that that far from me wouldn't it be something if i seen him somewhere before and i just i'm good sometimes with faces just don't know where the heck from so um what's his name i, I always like to we always like to be educated from you so I know I can look this up on Google, but we really don't because we love to read um, and be educated by you. That's the intention. So it's that conversation because we can't see you, unfortunately. So the texting back and forth is the conversation. All right. Because we care here. Um, yeah, I love the whole vibe. I love the whole vibe. And in getting to the actual song, because I was wondering before I hit play what Last Train to Nowhere meant. Um, and so initially, I was thinking of a train. I thought it was a train actually taking somebody somewhere. But then as I'm hearing for the first time the lyrics, I know it's all metaphorical. So then in listening to like the lyrics, so Last Train of Nowhere is actually kind of sad in a, in a way because it's basically like, this is my interpretation, first of all, is basically like saying um, you have no ties to really anything. You're just like, you're almost like aimlessly going with the flow, going wherever life takes you. There's no like um, familial bonds or anything like that um, that's really tying you down. Like no roots. That's the word. There's really no roots tying you down to somewhere, somewhere you can call like home. So you're just like, all right, wherever the world takes me, like almost throwing caution to the wind. Now, some people like that, and they like to be that carefree and to just be uninhibited and stuff like that. Um, so for the for the people that it works for, great. But for the people that it doesn't work for, and that's just their existence for whatever for whatever, for whatever reason, that's pretty saddening because maybe they don't want that type of situation. Maybe they want to have roots. Maybe they want to have some type of family. Um, maybe they want to have an actual place location that they call home that they come back to. Because here he couldn't. He kept saying, like, you know, it's, it's one track. There's no turning back. It's just a, a, a train to nowhere. So it's like there is no going back, which means there's nothing to go back to. Um, so I like this song because it's also relatable. I know that there's many people that this can relate to. So, and it's not a song that's about love. And don't take that the wrong way. I love songs about love. There's a lot of songs about love. But imagine if every song in the world was about love. That would get kind of monotonous. So 
I like how there's songs that are not about love and especially are about things that are relatable because it helps people resonate. Oh, I'm not alone. Oh, they don't have any. They're aimlessly wandering around in the world, um, you know, in their head or metaphorically or whatever. I'm not the only one. That's a great feeling when you can relate to something. There's songs that I've listened to in my life that I personally can relate to. So I'm speaking from experience. So loved everything about it. Um, yeah, so let us know more about Ghost Towns. Like, um, uh, are they still popular? Because I don't know how current this is or not. Um, it said something about their worldwide. They've been around worldwide. So, I mean, that's great if they've had gigs all around the world. So that must say something about themselves. Um, but let us know, like, are they still together? Have they disbanded? Because I don't know. And again, it's intentional that we want to learn from you. So don't anybody say in the comments, boy, you don't do any research. No, this isn't a research channel. This is a reaction channel. I did my part. I reacted to the song. Now I want to know a little, little bit more about ghost towns. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, this comes with a part of our show. We always do our thumbs up pass if we like a song. Thumbs down ass if we don't like a song. Come on. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up to all the ghosts and the hounds. <laughs> anyway, I'm silly. All right. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you for everybody that comes and watches us and stays and watches us and subscribes and, and, and hits those notifications. Really, really appreciate that. It means we're doing something that you like, and that's the intention. We can't be Taz and Philly by our damn selves. So thank you so much, and we're glad that we make you happy in some way. Um, all right. Take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>